I am appalled to see my president being given questions, unnecessary questions that will not even help a country by a reporter of a big media house, BBC. Some of the questions are not even helping. But you know what? It is because of the speeches that African presidents make nowadays. The president of Malawi made a speech at the funeral of George Magufuli. And that speech is what has created animosity, hatred, and this racism, whereby the president is uh, bulldozed with questions, rained with questions, hell of stones of stupid questions. Fellow Africans, we would rather die, but leave a legacy behind so that the generations after us will not be a generation of appeasement. But when we die, we should leave a generation that will uphold the power of dignity. Because I will say this again, the creator who made this color of black did not make any mistake. He had his reasons. So someone to be made black or darker, someone to be made pink or whiter, someone to be made red or, or, or orange somewhere, cannot be a passport for harassment, a passport for molestation, a passport for abuse, a passport for being host hostaged. If that was the case, then we couldn't be in this continent. We could page all over the continent, page having no place where we call African home. Peter McIntosh said, and I will, I will quote him again in his music industry, he said, whether you come from Cuba, whether you come from Trinidad and Tobago, whether you come from Jamaica, whether you come from uh, 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 Vanuatu, whether you come from Solomon Islands, as long as you're black, you're an African. Meaning, this is where the creator himself said, dark people should come from this continent. And that's not a sin for us to be harassed. That's not a sin for us to be abused. That's not a sin for us to be taken or regarded as second class citizens. We are just as everybody. The difference of the color doesn't mean